Look at all the drills. But now, all of them, all the way around. You're in the minority. All y'all had, y'all had to be in here. And what you're missing, then y'all stand there and talk to each other. That gum. It was crucial. I can tell. I just wanted to talk to you, man. Oh yeah. It's not every day everybody's out here. <laughs> they, 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 you got invited first. Day. Hey, you, you've been invited. What we got? A couple weeks into this, it's pretty hot with other. I really am. It's the third. It's be the end of the third week. Been, I've been very pleased. Our guys, great attitude, no complaining, no griping. Do what they got to do. Get, get on their tails and move on, and don't have to get on a lot. They, they, their effort, and for the most part, they're pretty good. Is it different than last year? Yes, but you don't have all the. Little details of things. I mean, I've been, I really like their focus on their maturity level box, the way they're going to work. Who don't you have? Who's out For what? For the duration of the spring. Who do you have? Uh, you probably have Rhodes. I mean, they're doing stuff on the side. Rhodes, McDaniel, uh, Moody, uh, Zebri, Dadco. Uh, is that it for all? Alani? Oh, out there. He went through the whole thing. See, there you go. Hey, he was hey. sleeping again. Yeah, player don't even recognize him going through every drill. I think that's. A, I mean, you got you got guys who are doing partials who are coming back off surges who are doing certain drills and not drills, but they'll be in. It should be in spring. Everybody else. I hope I don't miss anybody. Moses. No, Moses will be back in spring though. He had that foot, but he'll be back in March of spring. Uh, he'll be back. I'm having to get the receivers. No problems out there doing drills. I saw You're taller there by y'all see. He was a heat. I was going to drill. It looked like Holmes had his arm in the No, Holmes, Holmes. Holmes will be out for the spring. Yeah, because he had that shoulder redone. Holmes will be out. And uh, Jeff Luck will be out for the spring. I take it back. Because of when his surgery was. He hurt his knee out here. Just he tweaked the cartilage and it'll be. They sewed it so they cut it out so it'll take the time to the rest of it. But other than that, everybody else will be back at t different times of spring. Looks like Brandon Jenkins got that quick in surgery. Yeah, he's back. He's back. He's not full all the way go, but he's. Probably eighty percent or so of what he's doing. He's being careful on his shoulder, but he's running good and doing everything. Is he, is he getting a little bigger? He's two fifty eight. See everybody's out last year. He was two forty seven and two fifty two all last year. He's about two fifty eight right now. Where'd you like to see him? I, I like him right there because he's running well. He he's you know, he's a guy and he's also a guy that can stand up. I mean he can stand up, get down whatever he needs to do to, to play. He's two I think he's two fifty seven, two fifty eight Three and eight new ones, is that right? And you they look like they blend right in, they've jumped right in. They've done a tremendous fairing crew, they've done a great job. Tank, uh, Caradown's done a great job. Waysom, all the linemen have done a good job. I mean, Freeman, I mean, they've, they've all fit in just like they've been here. You can't even tell. I've, I've been very pleased with this fair cruise. Uh, right now, probably about anywhere from 3 8 to 3 11. About 30. How much is and that? On, a lot stronger, too. On the experienced guys, kind of showing them the way. You know what I mean? It is, and, it and, is, and but those young guys, example. too, they, they've done that. Those guys know what to expect, and they're just jumping right in line and going. They've, our older guys have done a good job of that. Isn't that the part of a program that's about being built in the about culture? It's called a program. Exactly right. They know what to, what to expect. Get your work done. You know, and they know when they're wrong. They know when they're wrong before we do. So take care of the business. In terms of leadership, what do you see out of EJ so far in these? Great. Been phenomenal. Has been off the field and everything he does. He, I always said that EJ's a very natural leader. He, he likes the role and accepts the role. And our kids like him because he, you know, he, he holds himself to the high standard. We've had some other guys really did pretty good, too. Coach, this comeback coming off that injury. Oh, it looks great. Davis has been moving for him. Running, flying, I mean, changing direction. When you're talking about a big guy can play corner that can run and do some things now. He's got some talent. Handle those big receivers. I've been extremely pleased with him. I was really pleased last year. When he was on the scout team, you could see him playing corner and breaking on balls and doing things, working on his technique. He didn't waste last fall when he was out there. Coach, you get the sense the guys are ready to play football again and not just be out here doing conditioning? Yeah, but I mean, not really. I mean, they're, they understand the part of this and what, and what part of this plays in being successful. People keep saying, let's get to the ball. Well, no, that's not necessarily true. I mean, this out here is, is just as vital as some of the ball you got to play and where you're at. And, and our kids, they, they've done a good job of that. I mean, they're ready to play. They, I think they understand they got another week of this when they get back. Coach, what was your reaction to Sports Illustrator's story this week? Are you going to change anything? I mean, you know, always research our guys. We try to do background checks on guys. And, and uh, you know, we know guys if anything has happened. Misleading part of that, when you break 7% and 2% and 2 more percent, it breaks down. I think we're better than the, the average society. They got down to something that was, uh, they're putting misdemeanors in there from traffic to an argument to you get pushed in. What's actually causing them? But no, we don't want any bad guys. But also, this world that shows why coaches and people are more important than ever. Because sometimes we're the last chance that some of these guys have. 
but it's got to be within the right context too. I understand that, but just because you make a mistake, don't mean the world throws you away. Would you like to see the NCAA change the regulations? Find out more and be around guys and find out the person. Because I, that the commercials and the way they're going to do it, it's not going to slow the game down. To where we can run or have a running clock and do it with the, the way we want to do it, and they, and they were great with that. So you know, I don't have a problem with that. I just don't want to linger on and, and lose the rhythm of the flow of the, the game and for the kids to stand around doing all that stuff. Good publicity for the program. Yeah, it's good publicity. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully, we'll, hopefully we'll fill the stadium up so folks have to watch it because they can't come in. 